We turn now to our time of prayer this morning. And we're going to begin by praying for our world. Dear Father, we thank you for the scientists who have helped develop coronavirus vaccines. We thank you for the progress of the vaccination programme here in the UK and for the reduction in UK cases and especially deaths. We please, Father, we pray that you would um, continue to provide all they need for the vaccination programme to continue rolling out. We pray for the public health team here in East Sussex. And Father, we do pray particularly for the team here in Hastings trying to encourage a greater uptake. And Father, we ask that uh, although we're grateful for the availability of vaccines in this country, we pray that there would not be a selfishness with them, but instead a generosity, and the vaccines would get out to the whole world. Father, we thank you for the return of schools this week. And Father, we ask that you would continue to keep uh, case rates low, keep our schools safe places to be. And we pray for the government as they work through this roadmap out of lockdown. You grant them wisdom and guidance at every step. And Father, we finally just pray for businesses that are struggling at this time. Please pray that they would get the support they need and that jobs would be protected. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We also pray for our town this morning. We pray for our mayor, Nigel Sindon, and the leader of the council, Kim Forward. Please be with each of them, grant them wisdom as they conduct themselves in their various roles. Pray, Father, that as they receive grants from central government, that you'd help them to spend them wisely to help those most needy in our town. Father, we do thank you also for all the different Christian organisations working uh, across the churches. We pray particularly this morning for Nick Warren and the team at Christians Against Poverty. And we thank you that he reports that six families have gone debt free in the last two months. And we thank you also that he's been able to have opportunities to get to know uh, Sussex Department of Work and Pensions and to be able to get direct referrals to better help more people. Father, we ask that you might sustain Nick and the team and provide someone to assist him. We ask they may make a real difference in the lives of the people they're trying to support. We also pray for schools across our town, particularly for secondary schools, as they return to full-time teaching, most of them in the next week. Please keep those schools safe and may the children enjoy being back. The Father do pray particularly as they seek to address things like mental health, that you better help the teachers to have time for that. We pray also for our link schools, St Paul's Church of England Academy and St Leonard's Church of England Primary Academy. I please would you be with Richard White as executive head over all the heads of school. Thank you for a good first week and pray you sustain staff in the next uh, two and a half, nearly three weeks through to Easter. Please keep the schools open. And Father, do pray that as the children come back, that they would be uh, not only a safe place to learn, uh, but also to grow. And pray particularly as uh, just children across the schools will be looking at the Easter story, that they would come to understand more of your great love for us and all that the Lord Jesus achieved for us at the cross this Easter season. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray also this morning for uh, the churches uh, across the whole of our town here in Hastings and St Leonard's. We pray for each church as they work out how to resume uh, physical gatherings over the weeks and months to come. Uh, please help church leaders to make wise and good choices. Please help us to be bold in our outreach and our mission. Please help all the churches to be unashamed about speaking about the good news of Jesus Christ. And for our two churches, we pray particularly for uh, Palm Sunday and the 
uh, mini messy church that we're going to be having on Zoom. Well, thank you. This was the first time we were doing something really collaboratively uh, recently for our two churches, bringing together the children. We pray that that will be an encouragement for our children from those churches. And we pray that as they see the Lord Jesus Christ coming into Jerusalem on that donkey, they see what a great servant you are to us, how you served us at the cross. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Finally, this morning, we commit to you uh, all those in our church families who are struggling at the moment. We pray especially for those in nursing and residential care homes. We pray particularly for uh, Peggy Blythe, Celia Bray, Vi Chambers, Thelma Fogarty, Francis Ross, Pat Bear, and Frida Tuke at St Matthews. For Yvonne McMonagall, Marion Bolton, Doreen Cook, Linda Fletcher, Peter Highwood, Anne Jones, and Claire Little. That's a little bonus. Please would you draw near to each one of them. May they know your love and your comfort at this time. We also pray for the family of John Francis and Margaret Haste. These funerals will be coming up shortly. And in a moment of silence, we lift others known to ourselves, to God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us face with the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.